Societies around the world are facing an enormous challenge. Only a fraction of economic losses from catastrophic events are insured. This burdens already strapped governments and, ultimately, the public with the massive costs of emergency management and rebuilding. Costs that will only increase without clear incentives to mitigate the risk. Economic losses represent the total damage caused by a catastrophe, including loss of life, property, and infrastructure destruction, as well as non-direct damage, such as loss of wages and business interruption. A portion of economic losses not covered by insurance is known as the protection gap. On average, over the long run, AIR estimates that economic losses due to catastrophes are at least $300 billion per year, of which only $80 billion are covered by insurance. That's $220 billion that will be borne by governments or the people directly impacted by disaster. The protection gap is a challenge for all countries. The gap is very wide in Asia, but even in the U.S., insurance coverage for earthquake and flood is minimal despite the significant risk. Why does this gap exist? A combination of a lack of awareness and short memories has led to continued development in vulnerable locations, such as on floodplains, on beaches, or too close to an earthquake fault. Without the appropriate tools for assessing the risk, Insurers are either not willing to provide coverage for these properties, or the available coverage is too restrictive or unaffordable. In the U.S., for example, 80% of residences and 92% of small businesses in New York and New Jersey that were flooded during Superstorm Sandy had no flood insurance. Government bailouts also reduce the perceived need for insurance coverage. What's the solution? The available reinsurance capital in the global market, estimated to range from $400 to $565 billion, is sufficient to cover a significant portion, or even all, of the protection gap. With the right risk assessment tools, closing the protection gap is both an opportunity and a responsibility. AIR Worldwide works with insurers, governments, and institutions such as the World Bank and the United Nations provide the necessary tools to help with this important endeavor.